<laughs> Jackie Mel, ladies and gentlemen. Game one in a nutshell. <laughs> uh, <laughs> your stick, your stick, your stick. Drop your stick. Drop your... Uh, Ampy is trying to solo Roshan here. He's gonna get caught if he's not careful. I am unsure if they'll come on over. Uh, I mean, the Luna's that... coming over right now. But they're going to aggressively gank. Not oh, they're realizing going in that... for the tower. Yeah. I also don't think Envy can solo this. I mean, if he stays in here long enough, he can. They'll have four spirits up in a second. It's going to be very slow, though. Like, they'll lose the tower by the time he's done, and probably Rodota are going to come back in toward Roshan. Uh, not only that, but Envy's using all of his mana for this, so if this tower goes down and it's going to go down, it. he's got to leave. They're going to go right in the Roche after they get this tower. There's no way. Uh, he's, uh, he's walking on it. Let's see. Uh, four spirits up in one second. The tower does go down, and they they are dropping back that way. He does not realize that there's an Invis rune behind him either, so he could just, like, find himself dead. Oh, they are He's more interested in looking, the yeah, they're looking for the kills, and Envy should be able to sneak this Roshan oh. right out from underneath their noses. This is freaking huge. The oh. Sand King is coming in! Oh, he no. tried to push first! Oh, oh my gosh, wow. and now they're gonna check it and they're just gonna get it! Okay. Oh, you can see, Frodo is like, wait, what? Oh, okay. He bought back as well, hoping maybe he could somehow get in there, but... Oh, they think he's gone. 
Say that in a bad way. He is level 18 going Satanic Nectar. He's going to be rolled forward. They find Eternal Envy this time. He pops the mech. No chance to get off the ulti as he was organized. Oh, the coconut bounce around. They find Arteezy. He has no Aegis this time. Guess who's here? It's Moe. He pops his ulti. They get that first kill. And now there's a grip from Fly holding Clinks in place. But they don't have enough damage. Venno goes down. And uh-oh, this Ursa is starting to get big. They get another one. Fear goes down. The pushback. Crit dies. Fly gets coconut. Moo is going to be able to lock him down. Do they wake him up? Nah, they're gonna let Moose sleep and not give him the kill. Snake King picks it up and... GG says Eternal Envy. Whoa! That's, I mean, that's over, right? That's game. Yo, uh, whoa! I wanted to pause, so I jumped. GG. Envy's crazy. <laughs> I, I wanted to pause, what? <laughs> I mean, rules are rules, I think it's over. All right, me and Peter are going to send it back to the battle. Grats on EG. No, I'm just kidding. Hmm. I mean, Fatsu seems somewhat unkillable, but I feel like Envy would be your kind Why? of ideal Aegis I don't, carrier. I think they didn't actually want Bone 7 to get it because, because look at the Juggernaut. He actually dropped a slot just to make sure he and, could pick up something. And Envy oh also... Oh, yeah, I think it wasn't intentional that the... Envy oh, has yeah. no buyback as well. I yeah, feel like there would, is no reason you would not would want to give it to your Jug. give it to the Jug? I think it was just... Uh, oh my god, Bone 7, please. Well, nice ball doing what he can to keep the pressure up on this top lane. You mentioned an Axe Scepter earlier. If he wants to buy something like that, he is up to 3.5k gold. He, but could, he could still go for the Axe. I think the Axe at, at this point of the game could be something that he wants to have in base defense. You can buy time with the Axe, Ultimate, and the Lycan. He could just be somewhere else, speed pushing and forcing C9 to move and stop the push. So could be an item that he looks to go for next. Or his other option would probably be Shiva's cut. March down the middle lane. C9 looking for a pickup. Arteezy's going to be careful. He has got money for buyback. Uh, 5.2k gold. He's staying out of range. This has to work for C9. They already used so much of their resources in No the buyback for 40 seconds on your Lycan, actually. And this mid rack's exposed. They need a delay. They want to have that buyback first. Boots of Travel's bought. He may just go for the trade here. He's teeping in the bottom lane. They're going for a base trade. Zai going to survive the Omni Slash for now. It switches over to Kuro, who goes Scepter's up. Secret are pushing top. They're also pushing bottom. What's the move here? Does C9 oh, go for throw? No. They've got to back off. They're not even going for the racks right now. Where are the TPs? Fata does not have a TP. Envy oh, no. also, I don't think, has a TP. No one has TPs. This is Familiar's getting the sun. They're going for the throne. Oh, no. It's a catastrophe for Cloud9. Here comes S4 as well. They're just running back. They're running for dear life. They've got to protect the base. Arteezy now pops the ultimate. There's no glyph available. He dies in the fountain, but he's got ages. He can't even buy back and TP home. They're just going to get the throne up of this. Holy shit, Cloud9 have lost game. 